Hi there, welcome to the Top Dog Tips YouTube channel. Thanks for joining us today. In this video, I'm going to expose to you three facts dog owners need to know today before you feed your dog again. Now, these three facts, they could give you more years of love, laughter, and happiness with your dog, so stay tuned. So if you don't know this already, at the expense of several dogs having health problems while on certain commercial dog foods, several household dog food brands have been under heavy skepticism and publicity. However, there is a good reason why, which leads me to fact number one. Even if a company says it's made in the USA, it's very likely that some of the nutrients are actually imported from other countries. Let me explain. It turns out that many pet manufacturers tend to cut corners, such as importing some of these ingredients from different countries, such as China and Thailand. This attempt to save money on sourcing has left a void in the industry for quality control. These imported ingredients like synthetic vitamins are used when pet manufacturers extrude the kibble and extrude the animal protein that they're using causes the kibble to lose its nutrients and when they bind that with certain plant proteins to create the kibble. The reason commercial dog food companies do this is to sterilize the dog food. However, they torch the nutrients in the process and then this allows companies to say something like all natural or with added vitamins and minerals. These synthetic vitamins and minerals do not behave the same way as their natural counterparts. In fact, these synthetic nutrients could actually lead to actual nutrient absorption deficiency, which leads me to fact number two. Your dog is not getting the amount of animal protein that you think they are getting. You remember how I talked about the extrusion process? Well, not only does the extrusion process strip the animal protein of essential vitamins and minerals, amino acids, but it also reduces the weight of the actual animal protein. Let me explain. So pet food labels are designed to be labeled in the order of weight of the food prior to processing. This means that they can say on the ingredients that, oh, the main two ingredients are chicken and rice. Now, by definition, when you see something like chicken and rice recipe on the bag, this means that this brand supposedly follows the 25% rule, which means chicken and rice has to make up at least 25% of the weight of the food, but it's not what you think. And that's for a whole different video. The order is listed prior to processing. Now, most animal protein on average is about 70% water. This is why you see when you put hamburger patties or chicken breasts on the skillet or on the grill, they shrink. So after the extrusion process, the chicken, which originally made up the bulk of the ingredients, now has lost its actual nutrients, but also its actual weight in the food and is no longer the bulk of the ingredients. And then what you see next is that dog food companies, because they know this, they try to add lower quality protein, like plant-based protein, like soy protein, pea protein, and rice protein. These are all lacking essential amino acids like animal protein, which leads me to my last fact. But before I give you that, I wanna thank you for listening and making it this far. Please be sure to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's how we continue to grow our following for you all and put out great content for you all. All right, fact number three. Most kibble that provide a daily serving schedule have you overfeed your dog with carbohydrates. Let's break this down a bit. First off, dogs are carnivores that are able to process carbohydrates. However, that doesn't necessarily mean that they should have a lot of carbohydrates. Now, if you're going to feed your dog carbohydrates, it's best to give them home cooked carbohydrates and you make sure you have them lightly cooked and in small quantities. Now, as you know, with human food, with processed food like McDonald's, pizza, French fries, these are all loaded with calories. Well, the same goes for commercially processed dog food kibble. First, let's take a look at an example of some dog food. And on the back of the bag, you'll see the calorie content says 360 kcals per cup. And that's fine, given that the animal protein hadn't lost all of its nutrients during the extrusion process. But that isn't the case, and there's plenty of research confirming that the high heat process reduces the protein quality after extrusion. And then to make up for lost nutrients, companies add synthetic vitamins and minerals or synthetic amino acids 
because that high heat process has stripped those amino acids out of the animal protein. And since dogs are classified as carnivores, carbohydrates are not essential to their diet. And what happens with the food that has high carbohydrates, it causes a hormone called insulin to turn on. And insulin halts the metabolization of fat. Now, that's kind of why you see the obesity problem in dogs today. And lastly, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a bonus fact. So fact number four, watch out for added amino acids. The essential amino acids that dogs need in their diet is arginine, histidine, isoleucine, leucine, lysine, methionine, phenylalanine, threonine, tryptophan, and valine. When pet food companies use the high heat process called extrusion, it breaks down these amino acids like I said, and then when they add these plant-based proteins back into the kibble, these plant-based proteins do not have these essential amino acids. So you'll see synthetic amino acids, amino acids that have been made in a lab, and they look something like this amino acid here. When you see added amino acids in the ingredients, it should be waving a red flag telling you that there is not enough animal protein in this dog food for your dog. And you should move on and try to find a different kibble. Preferably, you would want to switch, if you can afford it, to home cooked or raw food diet. Well, that's gonna do it for us today at Top Dog Tips. Thanks for joining. If you enjoyed this content, you might enjoy this one over here. And with that, I hope you have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.